Record. Good morning. So I thought today we'd start just with a couple of breathing exercises. Just three deep breaths at the count of four into the upper chest, through the nose, and then to a six count, let it all out. Get it all out. So let's start. And then release through the nose or through the mouth. And then inhale four. Hold a second and out six. And one more. And we'll roll the ball. I was just reminded, uh, I had mentioned the book Breath, um, I don't know, about six months ago, I think. And then Marlene uh, mentioned that she was reading it. And I realized that even though I had just uh, read part of it uh, in a review and uh, an excerpt. So I picked it up and I'm reading it and it is fascinating. And it's all about how important nasal breathing is, but also the impact that um, exhalation has. You know, often we don't uh, get all of the uh, stale breath out, the carbon dioxide. So that's what that exercise is all about. And we're rolling up and down and across and on the palm of the hand and on the thumb pads and on the pinky pads, as you know, and across the knuckles. And we'll interlace the hands and compress. One, two, three, four, five, and let go. And compress, two, three, four, five, and let go. And one more time. Five, and let go. And let's throw it up and catch. Alternating which hands. I mean, sometimes you can throw one hand and catch it with the other, and then the other time, just catch it with the same hand that you threw it up with. Try to trick yourself. I'm not doing a very good job of tricking myself, which is actually good. All right. Three, two, one. We've been assessing the feet all along. So I'll drop the ball and press down right in the middle three times. Two, three, and up to the knuckles. Good morning, Suzanne. Three, four, five. Roll it across the knuckles. Bring it back to the top of the heel, pivot on the toes and roll it across the top of the heel. Bring it to just below the first knuckle and press down. Roll it slightly down to the side of the top of the heel and press down. And then over to the middle of the fifth metatarsal on the other side of the foot and press down. And then roll it down the bones. And screw. You can't see her, but Alaska is standing in front of me there, looking at my foot saying, what a waste of a good foot. Three, two, one, and reassess. And bring it to the other foot. Middle of the foot three times. And Lily is very disappointed because I'm wearing socks, so she can't lick my feet. <laughs> yeah, they're two, two of a kind.
And we go down to the knuckles and press down once. And slide it across. And down to the top of the heel, pivot on the toes and slide. We'll press below the first knuckle, side of the top of the heel, middle of the fifth metatarsal, roll it down the bones. And move it all around. Two, one, get that ball out of the way, reassess, feel how rooted you are now, grounded in touch with the universe as we undo that with some shaking of the limbs. And three, two, one. Oh, let's pause, take two deep breaths, centering. And twisting at the waist, swinging the arm. And centering. Rubbing the hands together, cultivating chi. And forming a chi ball. Shifting the weight from one foot to the other, from substantial to insubstantial to substantial to insubstantial, to substantial, like water flowing. And three, two, one, let's center and go right into some ocean wave breathing. Centering two deep breaths. Marching in place. Or jogging. Twenty-one seconds left. I am going to pick it up, but you don't have to. Just do what feels comfortable and safe. You can sprint. I'm going to do some uh, side jacks today. I think you could do rapid squats, or regular jumping jacks if you're up to that, or just keep doing what you're doing. And seven, six. Five, 
four, three, two, one. Seventeen, eight, nine, twenty, twenty-one. Duty press. Bring your fingers up. Press back. And down. Flop them over. Wiggle fingers that form a fist. Press down on top of the knuckles, but just above the knuckles. Other hand. And down. And flop. Let's bring the one arm across the throat and press on the elbow. And then the other. One arm behind the back, press down on the elbow. And then the other. You extend the arms and rotate. and then go in the other direction. Thumbs are up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Bring the arms in and shrug. Roll the shoulders back. And forwards. Rotate the neck. In one direction. And then the other. Nod. Go ear to shoulder. Look over one shoulder. And then the other. Look up. And down. Cross one leg in front of the other, hinge at the waist and stretch the hamstring. Try to keep those hips over that back ankle. Come on up and cross the other leg and do the same. And come up, spread legs into a side lunge and stretch. 
stretch the adductors of the extended leg. And then go the other way. Put one foot in front of the other at a 90 degree angle and press back on your heel with the back foot. Stretching the calf. And then turn around and do it the other way. Okay. So I did a lot of research yesterday because I know some people having have difficulty with the quad stretch picking up the back leg. Um, and you know, the alternatives are slim, but I mean, one thing you can do is use a belt or a strap uh, and, you know, um, put it around your uh, ankle and do it this way. Um, make sure you're holding on to, if not the stick, then uh, maybe a counter or a tabletop or the back of a chair. Another way to do the quad is down on the ground. This might be easier, it might not, but just grab it like so on the ground, certainly easier to do in terms of balance. Um, but those are two alternatives. In the meantime, let's grab the stick or the table or the back of a chair and stretch that quad. And, and come back down. So I've got a whole different uh, stick routine this morning too. It's by a guy named Dr. David Lee out in California. It's not, uh, it's similar, but different. So the first thing you do is put it behind your back and stretch your arms out as far as you can go. Most of you have a five inch stick. I don't know if your arms will stretch to the end. If they don't, just wherever it feels comfortable. And then get it down as low as feels comfortable on your back. For some of you, it may be up here or on your shoulders, or you may be able to go lower. And then just start oscillating back and forth. And getting your hips involved in your waist. And you might want to take small steps or not. All right, and two and one, and then bring it back in front again and hold it um, as far out as feels comfortable. And then just oscillate back and forth laterally. and stop and then bring it to one side and go back and forth and you get your legs involved in this if you want or not is comfortable. Three, two, one, and then to the other side. Three, 
three, two, and one. And then back out in front. And we're gonna swim with the stick. Uh, forward stroke, Australian crawl. And you can get your hips and legs involved. Move them a little bit, maybe come up on your toes like I'm doing there. And three, two, one, and then a backstroke. Three, two, one. And then hold it in front of you uh, with the palms facing up and flex the wrists. And then we're gonna get the elbows involved, come down and up. Bicep curl as we do the other routine sometimes. And then we're going to come down, up, and up. Down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. And if you want to progress it, you can stand on your toes or Stand up on your toes and come back down as you're coming down. Okay, and stop. And now reverse the position of your palms so that it's palms down and flop at the wrists. And get the elbows involved. And the shoulders. And then again, if you want to go up on your toes when you go up, do so. Or just stay nice and steady on your feet. Three, two, one down and then finally let's go back to the original position behind the back and just kick your legs up relaxing on the back some legs seriously involved and then if you can Do some hip rotations. Five, seven on one direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And that's that. Let's bring the stick in front. And come up and down on the heels, up on the toes, down on the heels, <laughs> down on the cat's, cat's tail. That's four, five, six, seven, we'll do 15, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay, we'll put the stick down. 
and do um, a standing corset. We've done this a few times. So we're going to start with some good mornings. You want to hinge at the hips, knees slightly bent, come back with your arms and up overhead and back. One, two, three, four, we'll do 10, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now on all of these, you want your core engaged, which means again, brace your stomach muscles as if somebody's about to give you a punch in the gut, all right? <laughs> again, hinge at the waist, knees slightly bent, cross your arms in front of you, bring them back, bring them back down, uh, and put the other hand in front this time, back, other hand in front, back. Just keep alternating what's in front, a traveling row. I don't think I alternated that time. Huh? Six, seven, we'll do seven on each. Eight, which will add up to 14, nine, 10. If I can do math as I do this, 11, 12, 13, and 14. All right, I'm going to do the rotational punch. And again, as you come, to the end, twist your uh, hand, your uh, fist. Three, four, coming across your body. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Cherry pickers, go straight up and make a grab. Straight up. Grab that cherry and come back down. Oh, I'm doing seven of each, right? Five, six, six, seven, and seven. We're going to do hand to the opposite knee slap. Five, five, six, six, and seven. Spread your legs, hinge at the waist, come down, touch the opposite toe, or go towards the opposite toe. Two, three, three, six, and seven. And come back up. Some knee drive, same knee. Just elbow to knee. Come as close as you can. Six and seven. And then a uh, kickboxing block. So you have your hands in front of you like so, blocking that kick as if, if you can go to the opposite knee this time. If you can't, just go the same knee again. Two, three, four, five. Six and seven, and that's it. Ah. Center nicely with two deep breaths, like we did in the beginning. Take four in and six out. Count of four in and six out. And let's open our hearts. Oh. 
pausing and sending that energy out. Centering. And bring it down heavily chi. And going down to the earth. And grabbing chi. One more. And... <laughs> Namaste. Well, Everybody that. good? No yeah. moves today. That was a great workout. Oh, good. I really liked it. All right. Yeah. We'll Thanks. do it again. Okay. And um, it's a five Tibetans day for those of you who are five Tibetans aficionados. Oh, there's Art. Hello, Art. And Diana's there too. Oh, good. Okay. Yes, I have a standing appointment at 1030 on Thursday, so I joined late. Oh, good. Okay, great. Good to have good. you aboard. And uh, good to be here. Good. Any questions from anybody, uh, comments? <clears throat> I really like this this variation on the exercises with this. With stick, yeah. It was the other was getting a little um, uh, repetitive time to. Yeah, yeah I like this too. It's good for the arms. Good. Good. I'll uh, I'll uh, dig up some more too as we go along. All right. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, let me switch the camera and we'll do the uh, Tibetans again. If you don't want to do the uh, twirls, you can just rotate at the hips, slapping the uh, shoulders. But if you're up to it, just do a twirl. Up to 11. Ten for me and eleven for me. I'm gonna take two deep breaths. And we're gonna go into the rest of the exercises on the floor. And hold on one second. No, I don't want to do that. And okay, we're back and I'm on the floor and so is Alaska. All right, again, palms of the uh, hands are facing forward if you'd like or under your back if you need support there, under your neck if you want support there. Soles of the feet are on the floor. You're going to lift them up at the same time as you lift your head, neck, and shoulders. Or if you really have a 
touchy neck, just lift the soles up. In the regular version, the unmodified version, you extend your legs and come back as you lift your head, neck, and shoulders. I'll do six and five. Starting now. One. And when you're done, take two deep breaths. And come up on your knees. Hands on the back of your thighs or your glutes. You can just lean back at your knees if you can extend your back. Otherwise, do an extension back and come forward. And that's one. Two. Eight, nine, and eleven. I'm sitting down again. Palms are by your side with the fingers facing forward, unless you find it easier to put them behind you with the fingers facing away from you, as some do. You're going to come up into the table in the modified version, soles of feet are on the floor, unmodified, they're extended. And you come up the same way. I'll do six and five. That's one. Seven. And 11, two breaths. We get on all fours. <laughs> Come up, up dog. In the unmodified version, you start a down dog and come up. Again, I'll do six and five. Starting now, one. Six. Ten. 
and 11. And around across the leg, sit down, take two revitalizing breaths. We're going to rotate at the waist. You can do it sitting up or bending over. As I am doing, that's one. I'm going to do six in one direction and five in the other. Two. Come up, reverse the position of the legs. What was on top goes on the bottom. What was in front goes behind. However, you've had it configured. We'll do five in the original direction and then six in the opposite, pausing at the last one to really stretch out in front and then we'll go to the sides. One. And stretching out in front, taking two deep breaths. Going to the left knee, stretching with two deep breaths. Unknown caller. Yeah, let's go to the right and stretch. And come around. Hallelujah. And suck up. That is it. Thank you, Tom. You're welcome, Suzanne. Have a great day. Paula, Maureen. Everybody. Mira, Diana. Watch out for the intruding tail. Yeah, right. Uh, she was uh, particularly um, anxious today for a little bit of uh, loving, I think. Yes. <laughs> oh, I will have to. Uh, Thanks, Tom. Uh, you're Thank welcome. You. Now oh, she's I'm, got I'm her a... back to you. <laughs> huh? Now she's got her back to you. Yeah, she does. Yeah, but she's <laughs> she knows I'm going that way. Oh, okay. Have a good one. <laughs> All right, you too.